Hey guys, it's Liesl Jane. Today I'm going to be sharing a couple of healthy lunch ideas and recipes with you. Um, I love lunch. I love all recipes, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Anyway, you guys have been asking me for some healthy lunch ideas that you can take with you to school or work and I mean, I go to work every day and I take packed lunch with me. So I thought I would show you some of my favorite recipes, my favorite healthy lunch recipes that I take with me to work at the moment and some of my favorite things that I would have taken with me when I was at school and university. So let's get started with some of the healthy, the healthy packed lunch ideas for school and work. So first we're gonna be making my current favorite healthy sandwich. This is my hummus and roasted red pepper sandwich. But don't worry, it's much easier to make than it sounds. Even though it sounds kind of fancy, it's, oh, it's so good. So I love roasting bell peppers. They're so delicious when they're roasted. The flavor really comes out well and they're, they're legit so good in a sandwich. And it's easy, it's a really easy way to add a lot of flavor to a sandwich in a healthier way. So I just chopped up some red and yellow bell pepper into thin slices. We're going to be using these bell peppers for two of the recipes that I'll be showing you today. So I'm doing quite a lot, but this would be enough for like four sandwiches. So you can easily just meal prep this ahead of time and then you can add them to your sandwiches throughout the week. I'm adding a bit of cooking oil to that. You only really need about half to one teaspoon, some Italian herb mix as well. And then I want to make this a little bit spicy. So I'm adding a small handful of chili flakes. But if you don't want to, if you don't like spicy food, then you can just leave this out. It's still super good without it sometimes I don't add it and then some sea salt and black pepper and I'm just roasting that in the oven at about 180 degrees celsius or about 360 degrees fahrenheit for roughly 20 minutes and after about 20 minutes the roasted pepper is ready so I've got two slices of bread here so that I can make a sandwich obviously I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about what kind of bread I use I really like this 100% whole grain rye bread from Mr. Matcha, I don't know how to say that, but it's Mr. Matcha or something like that. It's really good and it's not processed bread. It's just whole grain rye. So that's what I use most of the time. Or I'll use a whole grain gluten-free bread because I can't eat wheat. To that, I'm adding a few spoons of hummus to spread out. I'm just using plain hummus so that it doesn't clash with the other flavors that I'll be using. And then I'm adding some of the roasted bell pepper slices on top of that. I like to make... A, like a nice tray of this and just keep it in the fridge for a few days to add to sandwiches it's such a good combination the spicy roasted red pepper with the hummus but for an even easier alternative if you don't want to take the time to roast the pepper you can just use some fresh tomato slices instead of the roasted pepper that's also really good um, it's a little bit different but it's really good and then I'm just adding some grated carrot just a little bit um, I, I like to buy this pre-grated actually but um, you can just leave out the carrot if you don't want to. I just really like carrots though. And then some fresh cucumber slices. I really like the cucumber, the coolness, <laughs> the coolness of the cucumber with the spiciness of the chili. I think it's a really great combination as well. It just like balances everything out. So I love that. And then I'm topping all of that off with some fresh baby spinach. This makes it more of a salad kind of a sandwich. It's a great way to sneak some extra greens in there as well. <laughs> and then also, um, I think the baby spinach on top of the cucumber also helps to stop the bread from going soggy from the, um, from the cucumber. Also, if you like add tomato to it, um, if you put the spinach on top of it, then yeah, it stops the bread from going like soggy. And that's that. You can just cut the sandwich in half and pack it into a little lunchbox and you are good to go. So it's often nice to take some snacks to school work as well. So with the sandwich, I'm also packing an orange and some fresh blueberries and also some raw almonds into a little container. And that's a really nice healthy packed lunch for school work with some nice healthy snacks to go on the side too. Perfect for a day at school or work. So the next lunch idea that I'm going to show you today is one of my all-time favorites. It's such a classic Liesl Jane kind of lunch. Um, so you guys know that I like to meal prep roasted vegetables because it's a really easy way to make um, meals taste good really easily, really quickly. They're delicious added to salads. I just roasted a tray of butternut squash red bell pepper and purple onion with a tiny little bit of cooking oil, Italian herb, sea salt and black pepper for about 30 minutes um, 
at about 180 degrees Celsius or about 360 degrees Fahrenheit. This is probably my favorite vegetable combination to roast for the salad, but you can do any other vegetable mix that you'd prefer. So for the salad today, I'm using chopped romaine lettuce, but you can use any other kind of leafy green that you'd like, that, that you'd prefer as well. Baby spinach or kale are some of my favorites as well. I'm just doing like a big handful of that. And to that, I'm also adding half a cup of cooked quinoa. You guys know I like to keep cooked quinoa in the fridge as well to add to meals throughout the week. And then I'm also adding one tablespoon of sunflower seeds, one tablespoon of pumpkin seeds, and a couple of raw almonds as well. These are gonna add some good protein and healthy fats. You don't have to add all of them, you can just add one or two if you want to, um, but I just like that combination, the sunflower seeds, the pumpkin seeds, and the almonds. And then I'm adding a big squeeze of fresh lemon juice for some flavor and also help to keep the whole salad fresh, some sea salt and some black pepper, and then also one teaspoon of olive oil, this with the lemon juice makes a really nice salad dressing, a healthier kind of salad dressing. And then I'm adding the oven roasted vegetables and tossing it all together. You can roast enough vegetables for a couple of days as well, and then you can add them to your salads for the week. Then I'm also adding a little bit of avocado. I freaking love avocado in salads, oh my gosh. Um, it just adds a little bit of creaminess, but this is optional. It's not always in season, so sometimes I don't add the avocado, but it's nice when I do. And that's how easy it is to make. It's really just tossing a couple of ingredients together and just add that to a lunchbox. Obviously, you can make it in the lunchbox um, to save time and to save dishes. You can just make it in the lunchbox. I'm obsessed with the salad. Seriously, it's such a classic for me. It just never gets old. It's, it's so good. For some extra snacks with this lunch, I decided to pack a banana and also some fresh blueberries in a little container as well. But you can use any other fruit or any other healthy snack that you'd prefer. And that's another healthy packed lunch idea with some healthy snacks that you can take to school or work. Just remember to pack a fork with this one too, so that you can eat your salad, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> The last healthy packed lunch idea that I'm going to show you today are these chicken and roasted pepper salad wraps, which we'll also be using the rest of those roasted pepper slices for. Okay, these are freaking delicious. I'm really excited to show you, so let's get started. First, I've got two of these rice paper wraps. The only ingredients are rice and water, and you can usually find them in some kind of health store, an Asian food store, or a vegetarian store. So to use them, it's actually quite easy. All you need to do is dip them in a bowl of warm water and then gently spin them around quite quickly until they go completely clear. As soon as they become clear, you just, you take them out of the water. Um, just the water mustn't be too hot or it will like cook them way too much and they'll be difficult to work with. So as soon as you've done that, you can start working with it right away. I find the faster you add your fillings, the easier it is um, to work with the wrap when you're done when you want to wrap it up at the end. So make sure that your fillings are already prepped. First, I'm adding a small handful of fresh baby spinach to the rice paper wrap, you know, for some greens, and then some thin zucchini slices. I actually just used a vegetable peeler to do this, but you could also just use some thinly sliced cucumber as well. Then I'm adding some grated carrot again, because I just love carrot, <laughs> I really like it. So um, you could also do very thin strips of carrot if you'd prefer that. And then also some thin tomato slices, that I've cut in half as well. I feel like all of the vegetables are best in a wrap if they're quite thinly sliced, so that's what I do. And now I'm adding those spicy roasted bell pepper slices. They are so good in this wrap, you guys. It just makes the whole wrap, it like completes the whole thing. I've probably used about half to one small to medium bell pepper for, um, for the two wraps, because I'm gonna make two of them for a decent sized lunch. And then I've got some pre-grilled chicken breast meat that I've cut into little slices as well. You can use any other pre-cooked chicken meat that you have, as long as the flavor is not too strong on it, because um, then it might not go with the bell pepper and all the other things. So I just grilled this chicken with some Italian herb mix, some lemon juice, sea salt and black pepper, and a tiny little bit of oil. I'm using about half of a chicken breast for each wrap, so like 100 grams. Um, of chicken breast meat in total for the two wraps, just in case you wanted to know. And then a few fresh avocado slices. I've used about a quarter avocado for each wrap, some fresh lemon juice to keep it all fresh and for flavor as well, especially to keep the avocado fresh, and some sea salt and black pepper. And then you can use your best wrapping skills to wrap it all up.
And that's it. It's not too difficult. And then I'm just making a second one really quickly because one's not really enough for me for lunch. I feel like two makes a good serving size for me. So I'm just doing everything again, dipping the rice paper into the water, fresh baby spinach, thinly sliced zucchini strips, grated carrot, tomato slices, and the rest of the roasted bell pepper slices, the rest of the grilled chicken slices, avocado, fresh lemon, sea salt, black pepper, and wrap it up. And then you can pack your little wraps into a lunchbox for some snacks, I've also packed some fresh strawberries with some raw almonds in a little container and also an orange on the side. And that's another yummy packed healthy lunch idea with some healthy snacks too. And that's all of the packed healthy lunch ideas that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Obviously, these are just some healthy packed lunch ideas and recipes that I like to use, but you can tweak them and alter the recipes however you like to suit your specific dietary needs or calorie needs. I'll put a rough calorie breakdown of these recipes on my blog for you, just in case you wanted to look at that. There will be a link to that in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoyed making those healthy packed lunch ideas for school and work. <laughs> I hope that they can be helpful to you and I hope that you enjoy taking them with you to school and work if you do decide to make them. Yes. So all of these recipes, I'm also going to be putting them over on my blog for you. There will be a link to that in the description box for you. If you want to go check them out there, then you can do that. And yeah, um, I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I'm also going to put a, some links below this video to some healthy breakfast ideas and some healthy dinner ideas so that you can get all the meals, all the meals in the day. Oh, and some healthy snack ideas. Don't forget about the snack ideas. So um, yes, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you again very soon.